right, so here are all of my products. And we're going to kind of organize them right now. And I'll put them in a few categories. You'll see it once I have finished organizing. I have another box here from this brand that sent me products. Yeah, there's, it's a lot. As a content creator and a micro-influencer, we get a lot of products from brands. They may reach out to me to send me products. And then I also win giveaways. So I know a lot of people are gonna comment and talk about how this is wasteful. And yes, it probably is, but I'm not the only one. And <laughs> I'm trying not to throw everything away because some of them can still be used. I do not always go by the expiration date on these products. So some of them actually say, this one says 24 months. So like some of these are good. This is just me personally. I'm not going by any rules with me saying this. I personally feel if I spend a lot of money on a product, I'm going to use it. I don't care. And this is probably bad. Do as I say and not as I do. If I spend money on a product, I'm going to use it. So like this, my L. Pomegranate and Honey. This one has a shelf life. Why don't they have the shelf life on here? So that means you can use it forever. This one does, it says 12 months. I know I've had this product for more than 12 months, but it's so good and it smells so good too. So I'm gonna use it. But if you follow the rules, you should be going through your products every year or so to see which ones are old and discard those ones. So I've seen some people write the date on the product, so the, the date that they bought them, so that they know, oh, in 12 months, this one's good to throw away. So, like, I like these products that have 24 months here. This one is good in my eyes. But the moral of the story is, I'm going to be getting rid of a lot of these products that I got for free. So, yes, I did spend money on a lot of these products, but I also got a lot of these for free. So, like, I'm going to say half of these products were free and I do product reviews on my channel so I don't feel like it was a waste of my money per se unless they are not open because if I tried it out and even if I didn't do a review I probably added them in my declutter videos, my empties videos, the best of the best products of the year videos so somehow I incorporated them onto my channel and for that reason I don't think it's a waste of money to have purchased these products and some of them may not have been the best they might not be good products for my hair the way I was doing it in the past and so you try something you don't like it you got to get rid of it and of course me as a hoarder i do not like getting rid of things so <laughs> i do have a lot of things here that may not be the best for my hair well actually a lot of these are may not be the best for my hair with the new path that i'm going down 
So yeah, let me go ahead and arrange these products into different batches of ones I'm gonna keep, get rid of, donate, etc. Just laying and replaying that look upon your face. Your laugh is contagious, never ages, always seems to make my day. Conversations in my head got me conflicted with what you said. I tend to second guess myself like too much cause i think that i've been falling ever since that day out in the park and i don't know if this is love but maybe this could be the start So this here, curl defining gel, we don't want because it has this PVP here, which is like plastic. So this is being thrown away, given away. My brother likes the washes, so I'm going to give this a pound. Here's some oils. I do really love this Canvas Beauty one. So I'm going to see if I can use it for my body. Cause this one, it just has jojoba, almond, grapeseed, lavender, lemongrass, and argan oils. It has hibiscus, lavender, flowers, and roses. So I'm pretty sure I can use this on my body as well. Yeah, so I'll keep this, but it's not for my hair. Hair and scalp oil, never used these before. Never used this, if anyone uses grease still, I have that to grow. There's probably a lot in here. These ones are natural from a natural brand, but they're just old, so, and they don't have any oils. There are other things that I'm going to be giving away. Hair tools. So this Conair hooded dryer. I got this before 2010 because I was still in high school when I had that. So I don't even know what year I got this, but before 2010, it's been over 12 years. So it's time to let this go. And then a suggestion from my stylist was to let go of any of the older blow dryers that I have that are older than about five years or so. Just throw it away or, you know, properly dispose of it, which I have to look up how to do because I do not know what to do with this. If you do know, let me know in the comments below. But she was saying how the older blow dryers, and this is a golden hot. You can't even see the name because it got hot. You know how it gets hot and then it just, the paint goes away. But this was a, a good one. Also had this probably since high school, college. So it's been a while. But she was saying that these older blow dryers do not have the ion. Let me Google it before I yeah, I just did a quick Google and ionic hair dryers are supposed to generate negative ions instead of positive ones that break up water molecules to dry hair faster than most traditional versions. 
They also seal the cuticle to cut down on frizz and flyaways for a smooth, for a super smooth look. When I googled ionic hair dryers, there was a question. You know how it lists like the top questions related to that topic. It says what hair dryer is least damaging to hair, and it says ceramic hair dryers. Traditional hair dryers can cause damage and frizz because of the lack of heat control and airflow, but ionic and ceramic hair dryers, preferably with heat control, can effectively dry your hair with minimal damage. So, damaging. Now, it's saying that these dryers are prone to damage. So, these are the products I'm keeping. Question, throw away, give away. Oils and edge controls that I'm keeping. Oils will be used not for my hair, for my body. And this is stuff I'm giving to my brother. I forgot to count the products here because I wanted to see how many I had so I can use the number on my thumbnail picture. <laughs> but I guess it doesn't even matter because I'm getting rid of most of the products. Moral of the story, I'm trying not to be a product junkie anymore. So we'll see how that goes. And I'm trying to stay on this course because it's supposed to be more beneficial for me in the future but right now it's kind of hard for me to see that especially when I have these products here that I paid money for thank you so much for watching don't forget to give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video also don't forget to click the subscribe button and the bell that are right below the video on the bottom right I believe they will ensure that you're notified whenever I post and thanks again for watching Share this out to all your girlfriends. Don't talk about me in the comments, y'all. <laughs> Be nice. <laughs> Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next